I'm Ranger Lizzie. We are here today at Emsworth Quay where we're going to start our lovely little walk along to Norbarn Woods. We've parked in the South Street car park which is just up the road a few minutes away. There's another car park a little bit further in that you can also park in. There's loads of lovely walks in this area and today we're obviously going to be looking for all the amazing birds that are using the mud flats as you can see behind me. So we've got the water behind me in this kind of really large pond which never really goes down very much which is a lovely contrast at low tide with the mud flats which we've got on the other side of the park. Um, and if you're walking along this lovely um, quay here, keep an eye out in the pondy area because I have seen cormorants fishing before and you might even get to see them enjoying a lovely snack of a, of a fish or maybe even an eel. On our walk round to Norbarn Woods, I would like to see how many of the birds in our lovely leaflet we can tick off. And already behind me, we've got a beautiful flock of Brent geese who are feeding on the edge of the mud flats. You might notice behind that the birds often use the bits of mud right next to the streams or channels. So this is a really good place to look out for birds and it's usually where the food is easiest for them to reach. I've got a lovely oyster catcher just ahead of us. Its lovely red beak is glowing in the sunshine. Uh, we've also got some swans obviously enjoying themselves. There's a cormorant out on a post. Lots of different types of gulls. They're easy to overlook, but there's all sorts going on. Oh, actually, I've just realised we've got some lovely little turnstones down. They almost disappear. They're really easy to miss. In amongst the seaweed, they blend in. But look out for those bright orange legs and that lovely white belly. We've just walked along the quay and round the back of Emsworth Sailing Club and it brings us to this lovely viewpoint here where we can see out towards Langston Bridge and across to Hailing Island. And if you look behind me, you can actually sometimes on a really good day see the whole way out of the harbour. So it's absolutely stunning views of such huge areas of mud flats. Um, and just as we were walking around the back of the sailing club, we heard some curlews calling. So fingers crossed we might hear them again. Uh, this gorgeous sound that just erupts on the mud flats and echoes around. Oh, there it is! <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but um, it's one of the sounds to definitely look out for and listen out for if you're at the coast. So we've just come along and reached the end of Warblington Road, which is another place that you can start off your walk and there is a little bit of free roadside parking here. Now on the mudflats behind me we've got a gorgeous flock of black-tailed godwits. Now at the moment they're not actually feeding, they're just having a nice little kip. They've all got their little heads tucked in to their wings and they're just having a lovely little doze. This is one place that we could choose to turn around and head back along to Emsworth Town. But if you want a little bit of a longer walk, what you could do is go around Norbarn Woods, which is behind me. So adds a little bit of variety as well as seeing the coastal birds. You can see if you can spot any woodland ones. Um, if you're gonna head along this lovely stretch, what we would ask you that you do is stick to the top of the beach or on the path, just so that the birds can enjoy themselves on the mud flats. This is a lovely place to walk your dogs, but again, just make sure that they stick to the path with you, and then the birds and us can all enjoy the shores together. So, we've got another flock of Brent geese here. There's just so many Brent geese in this part of the Solon. Um, and I just wanted to talk about how amazing their migration is because it still shocks me every time I think about it that these birds fly over 3,000 miles from Siberia to get here and in just a few months they'll be flying 3,000 miles back and some of them won't even be a year old yet. Um, when you look for Brent geese, also listen for Brent geese, they're lovely chattering calls that echoes across the mud flats. I'm going to have a little look through the telescope and see them up close and watch, watch what they're doing. I expect they'll be having a feast on some seaweed. We are back at Emsworth Quay where we've just about started and I was worried we weren't going to have any ducks today but fortunately just as we've arrived back to the quay um, a lovely pair of teal are just there on the mud flats and they're just waddling into a little channel at the moment. So we've managed to do pretty well on our tick list. We've got godwits, oyster catchers, we saw a cormorant and turnstone, a little egret, curlews, we heard them, we did see a couple in the end, red shanks, dark-bellied Brent geese and now the teal at the end. I think all in all that was a pretty good time um, and you can come here and see every single one of the birds on the leaflet on some days. Another thing to say about Emsworth which is wonderful, this walk, depending on the tide you, you can come and it can look like a different place altogether. When the tide is in the water comes all the way up um, and you can look for divers and ducks 
and then when the tide is out like today you've got your lovely wading birds out in the mud having a good feast so that's the end of um, my tour of my lovely waterside walk thank you so much for watching there's lots more waterside walks uh, on youtube so have a look subscribe to our channel um, and enjoy watching and hopefully enjoy walking too